tensions reached a near historic high between police and the communities they served this past year since George Floyd's death. Calls for justice. Justice for George Floyd. That was answered. Calls for equality. Calls for police reform. Save for a last-minute surprise, President Biden's goal of passing the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act by the anniversary of his death appears elusive. The act would ban chokeholds and no-knock warrants, set up a national registry of police misconduct, and overhaul qualified immunity, a legal doctrine that protects law enforcement from civil lawsuits. The only profession that there's no accountability. You know, when we think about what has happened in the state with Dr. Nasser and the doctor up at U of M, We've moved bills to make sure that we have bad actors that are doctors that do anything. Tyrone Carter spent 25 years with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. He's now a Democrat state representative for Detroit and says since his time in law enforcement, much has changed. What hasn't changed is some of the policies. So when are we going to be honest about upgrading these policies to fit the time? Certain things like body cameras. I cannot understand why some departments are resistant to body cameras because we found in the city of Detroit that body cameras have just dismissed a lot of the charges that, you know, citizens say this happened and the tape is independent. Roughly 30 states have enacted some version of police reform legislation, 25 of which related to three areas, use of force, duty for officers to intervene, report, or render medical aid in instances of police misconduct, or misconduct reporting and decertification. Michigan is not any of those states. But it's not due to bills not being introduced. Senate Bill 945 would require training on implicit bias and de-escalation techniques for officers. It passed the Republican-controlled Senate unanimously, but stalled in the Republican-controlled House. The Michigan Association of Chiefs of Police opposed it. For the most part, uh, some of my counterparts, Republican and Democrat, don't see a problem in their communities. So it's, it's one of those not in my backyard. We don't have that problem in my district. Well, it's not about your district. It's about, this is a global issue. It's not just a Michigan issue. In Detroit, use of force reforms were enacted inside the Detroit Police Department following a consent decree. A judge releasing DPD from federal oversight in August of 2014. And the department has shown ability to police itself firing two officers for racist Snapchat posts as an example. After the George Floyd incident, I mean, police, I had some officers tell me that they wouldn't go eat in certain places. They wouldn't because they were worried about somebody doing something to their food. So we've got to do something to change that. And we have an opportunity to do it in the Michigan State Legislature. We did reach out to the communications team for House GOP leadership and are waiting to hear back. We also talked to Michigan State Police. Many of the reforms being discussed, from implicit bias training to a ban on chokeholds or officers having to intervene if they see a fellow officer doing something wrong, Michigan State Police say they are already implementing those policy changes. For 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel.